Hello everyone. Welcome back to our session. Today we are learning about punctuation. What are punctuation? Well, punctuation are symbol used in a sentence to clarify or make sentence clearer. It is also used to show when we should stop or pause while we read. For example, I had my lunch but I'm hungry again. Here we used comma to pause and we used a full stop to end the sentence. Here are some punctuation marks. They are full stop, question mark, exclamation mark, comma, colon, semicolon, dash, hyphen, parenthesis, apostrophe, quotation mark. Let us first look at full stop. A full stop is a small dot used to mark the end of the sentence. It is the most common punctuation mark used in a sentence. For example, I will go home. A full stop is used for an abbreviation. For example, MR dot for Mr. and MRS dot for Mrs. Additionally, a full stop is used in the imperative as well as declarative sentences. For example, I am not feeling well today. Declarative. Go home. Imperative. Next, we have a question mark. Look at the following sentences. Where are you going? Where are you? Both of these sentences are questioning someone for information. When we do the same in writing, we put a question mark at the end of such sentences. Moreover, any sentence that contains a what, where, who or whom is a sentence that ends with a question mark. For example, who are you? What is this object? To whom does this belong? Where are you going? Additionally, a sentence that contains a question mark is also known as an interrogative sentence. What is an exclamation mark? Well, an exclamation mark is a punctuation we use when we want to express surprise or joy, anger or shock in a sentence. We use them at the end of the sentence. For example, wow, what a beautiful house. Additionally, an exclamation mark can also be used for short sentences also called sudden interjection. For example, hooray, wow or oh god. Next, let us look at a comma. What is a comma? Well, a comma is a punctuation mark used to show a slight pause in the sentence. It is also used to show separate ideas and clauses. For example, I have pink, white and yellow flowers with me. If we read this sentence out loud, we will pause after the word pink, white and yellow to emphasize the color in the sentence. Additionally, we always use a comma before a quote, a name or a greeting. Let's look at their examples. A comma before a quote. Example, they said, comma, he is nice. A comma after a name. Example, that girl, comma, Maya, comma, likes to play. Full stop. A comma after a greeting. Example, hello, comma, it is nice to meet you. Next, we have a colon. What is a colon? Well, a colon is a punctuation mark used to connect sentences, emphasize a word or phrase, and introduce an explanation for the first sentence. For example, I and my friends are really excited. Colon, we are going to watch a movie. Here the second sentence is explaining the first sentence, connecting the two sentences as an explanation of one. Here are some more examples. They are my ideal friends, colon, sweet and kind. There was only one team he wanted to play for, colon, Mumbai Indians. Additionally, a colon is used for lists, titles or noun phrases. For example, bring the following, colon, a teacup, toothpaste, a brush and a comb with you. Anand Lobo, colon, the ferocious lawyer. The novel had everything I wanted. Colon, suspense and drama. Now let us look at a semicolon. What is a semicolon? Well, a semicolon is a punctuation mark that connects sentences or emphasizes them without the use of and. We use semicolon to connect two different sentences that are independent clauses but are related to each other. For example, I went to the market, semicolon, it was too crowded. This sentence could have been written as, I went to the market today and it was too crowded. The use of semicolon separates the sentences and turns it into two sentences that are related to each other. We use a semicolon in a sentence with lists 
that are long or contain internal punctuations such as I need to know the weather of the following cities in the world colon Delhi comma India semicolon Beijing comma China semicolon and Paris comma France we also use semicolons with adverbs such as I am quite fond of water release semicolon moreover they smell very good now let us look at dash punctuation mark what is a dash well a dash is a punctuation mark that looks like a hyphen it is used to show a longer pause or a range of pauses longer than a comma or a semicolon showing a break in the sentences for example a the delhi hyphen mumbai flight will leave by 8 am b the event will be organized from june 8 hyphen 11 going on to the hyphen punctuation mark a hyphen punctuation mark that is used to connect words to form compound words for example alok is a bright eyed boy here the word bright and eyed are joined together to form a compound word with the help of a hyphen a hyphen is also used to show the age of a people distance time frame and compound numbers It is also used in suffixes and prefixes. Next we have parentheses. Parentheses are quotation marks a round bracket to be specific. It is used to add additional information that can be removed from a sentence and we also use it in a sentence structure to show the clauses. Let's look at the examples. I'm going to visit my grandma, my dad's mom today. I like having coffee but without milk in it. I like having coffee main clause but without milk in it subordinate clause Here in the sentence A we can see that the parentheses have been used to show additional information In the sentence B I like having coffee is the main clause whereas but without milk in it is a subordinate clause as it cannot stand on its own as a sentence Here the brackets are used to show the different clauses one entire bracket to show the entire sentence and a separate bracket within to show the subordinate clause a i like having coffee but without milk in it i like having coffee but without milk in it remember a subordinate clause always depends on the main clause a note parentheses or brackets come in many types such as a square bracket curly bracket or angle bracket the square bracket is used for mathematics curly bracket for this and angle brackets are used for coding now let us look at apostrophe an apostrophe is a punctuation that shows ownership or possession of a particular object by someone or something in a sentence for example this is ram's bag here the apostrophe punctuation shows that ram is the owner of the bag a note apostrophes marks are also used for a short form example don't can't isn't weren't shouldn't etc next we have quotation marks quotation marks are used to show what a person has said or is saying it is also used to quote specific names book titles or specific phrases We use double quotation marks when someone is saying something. For example, mom said, quotation mark, I cannot come with you in your school's meeting tomorrow, quotation mark closed. We use single quotation mark when we quote specific names, book titles or specific terms. For example, my brother and his friend went to watch the single quotation mark Spider-Man single quotation mark closed movie. Hope you enjoyed this session. Thank you.